Okay, ready. Hi, Hi guys. guys! So welcome to another vlog and for this um vlog we're going to do a quick wedding update. How far? Flowers! Flowers for you, flowers for you, <laughs> and flowers for me. Because we're doing a destination wedding, it's a bit expensive to... Russia, <laughs> Russia I know you can't come to the wedding, but it's alright. We're gonna no. save some for you, alright? And then you can play with it. <laughs> <laughs> so you've probably seen on the, um, on the other vlog that we did some buttoneers for the groomsmen and we used to flower. So um, we decided to use the same for all the bridesmaids and for the bridal bouquet as well. Because the quote for the flowers are a bit expensive. When I asked the venue, they said that the market is so it's a bit far away from the venue. And so it's just gonna go to the bin after. Yeah. And, real ways. yeah. and we can't really take it home as well because Australian quarantine is uh, very strict. So we can't really even yeah take that home to be dried or whatnot. Yeah. <laughs> so it's tricky. What's the alternative? So I'm excited. We have. Silk flowers. What do you think about the shop? Yeah, the Silk shops. Flower shop. Oh, that's awesome. They had so much varieties in there, and uh, yeah. and he thought that it was a real flower shop. Yep, I was, <laughs> I was thinking, how the hell do these things survive in the shop? They're not watering it, <laughs> and some of them are gathering dust. <laughs> but yeah, and we'll we'll show you a clip on where that is and. Yeah, um, so some of them I bought for from this flora where I got the uh, the button years from. You remember? I love those ones. Remember this one? We made a tutorial on that one, which I'll link on the link below again so you can have a look. Mm. And the others were just from Kmart. Um, I love Kmart too. Yeah, so what are your thoughts about silk flowers? Do you feel funny about it? Or? No, I'm fine with that. Yeah. Look at that. It looks like a professional has done it. So this is what I did for my bridesmaids. Wow. Sorry for Basha's breathing. <laughs> She's a bit clingy at the yeah. moment. She doesn't want to leave outside. But it's that's okay. the time of the month, so she's a bit clingy, as you know. <laughs> it's right, baby. We're here. It's baby. So these are the um the bridesmaids flowers that I made. So it's a mix of those some um, ones from this flora and ones from Kmart but yeah it, it, it's a good mix yeah, you can't even tell which hmm. one is which eh? it is yes yeah, good good quality you just really have to pick you know flower that looks good and doesn't look too fake I yeah. guess <laughs> to I make mean, it work especially if you're looking from a distance it's very hard to tell whether it's real fake like this far. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> All right. And um, yeah, I just did uh, wrapped it around um, with with this rope. I got it from Kmart as well. Glued it and put some decoration like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's just easy. You just um, have to find you know what what will what will work on your bouquet. So like these small flowers here and some leaves. And just play around, and yeah, if you don't, um, if you don't like the combination, you can always bring it to the shop and have it exchanged for something else. What would be from Kmart and the and the test floor? Yeah, the Kmart ones are these ones. Okay, it's not That's too bad, really. Yeah. No, I think it's a bad. bunch of how many? Five, I think, for five dollars. It's really cheap. That's very reasonable. Yeah, it's good the price. the other colors, the this flora ones, are three dollars each. Yeah. Um, yeah, just to make mix it up a bit. See, that can now sit in storage until <laughs> the wedding. Yeah, after the wedding, the bridesmaids can take them home and it's a display it. As well. it's yeah, a display it. There you go. Yeah. At least they won't wither and die. <laughs> and I got my bouquet done as well. That's amazing. I did it myself. Um, I didn't really do a tutorial anymore because. Yeah, so many things happening. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to show you guys that the end product. So it's still again, it's a mix of um, Kmart flowers and this flora flowers. What do you think about the bouquet? That's amazing. I was gonna say it's beautiful. Thank you. That's so nice. <laughs> 
Yeah, they're, they're all fake flowers and fake leaves, but it, they look really That's real. That's the most realistic fake flowers. <laughs> so I just need to really wrap the um, stems together and yeah, and put some sort of decoration. Haven't really decided yet, so it's all just bunched up like that at the moment. And then yeah, I can still take it home and put it on our on our house and display it. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about quarantine. Yeah. I, I was not sure at first with um red silk flowers because I thought ah oh, I, I really like some fresh flowers in the wedding day. I, we did the same for the moms as well. It's just a bit of different um design. So there's yeah, there's a few more variety in there for the moms just to mix it up a bit. And you might you might have seen these. These are the I've um, seen that. <laughs> the groomsmen's one and the yeah. dads as well. You can revisit that yeah. video anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you got your one too. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, I've got one. But for those brides who's um, planning a destination wedding, you think about yeah, um, economical costs. <laughs> um, in total, with all the bouquets, we got like five bridesmaids, two moms, my bouquet, and all the groomsmen. We got like what seven? I think seven groomsmen in um, for the dads, three boutonnieres for the dads. Um, it just cost us less than two hundred dollars. And what the um, um, the florist from Santorini quoted us, it's about a thousand euros. A thousand dollars. It was a thousand dollars for Australian dollars, Ooh. which we can you know put into something else like you know extra desserts or drinks or food or chores. Yeah, shopping, Souvenir, honeymoon, honeymoon, all that sort of thing. Yeah, and something else rather than flowers that, yeah, as I told in my other video, they'll just die and yeah. Um, yeah, so yeah, the silk flowers doesn't look bad at all. Um, it, it looks really nice. I'm actually... <laughs> it looks really nice and, and yeah, you can keep it for forever, you know, it won't mm -hmm. die and yeah, and what you can do on the plane, maybe you can just can carry it just in case you lost your luggage. I'll give it to an entourage <laughs> one by one. <laughs> yeah. And yes, you can just distribute it amongst your entourage already so that they can bring it themselves. It won't add it on your baggage. It's very light. I mean, it's, you know. Yeah, it's very light. You know, it, how many grams is that? That's you less reckon? than 500. I reckon it's about 300 grams or so. Yeah, so it's very light. <laughs> so you can just put it. You know, on their hand carry, on their yeah. on their bags, in the handle yes. bag, <laughs> like on their shoulder bag, they can put it like that, mm -hmm. and back, back. yeah, and just just bring it. And um, if if it gets a bit deformed, you just ruffle the petals and you know, just to fix it up a bit. So it's pretty easy. And <laughs> that's our quick update, guys. Um, what else do you want to add? Oh, I'm just saying, we're excited. I'm. Personally, looking forward to our holiday and more vlogging once we go there. Yeah. So just stay tuned for that trip. Yeah, we got more um, new destinations to oh. cover in October, and we'll share that with you again as a you know our yearly trips. And yeah, we'll see you again in the next vlog. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. <laughs> Till next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.